Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser, here to answer the question, can you laser it? Today, I will see if it's possible to consistently laser mark onto the surface of natural horns and bones. Let's find out. I purchased many different types of bone for this test, ox bone, camel bone, cow bone, and buffalo bone in the form of many different products, antler slices, blank knife grips, guitar picks, a scoring folding tool, and a finished bone handled knife. I have created many different design files to see what contrast and details are possible when engraving natural horns and bones. I will get started with this blank knife handle made from camel bone to dial in the power settings and see how this material will handle laser engraving. Knowing that this is a dense material, I'm going to run a Speedy 360 80 watt laser with a 2 inch lens and start at 100% power, 50 speed at 500 dpi. From the first test, I am amazed on how great the contrast is. But I also want to know the limits of this material, so I will run the same test at slower speeds as a comparison to see how it performs. Testing again at the same settings and only adjusting the speed, running a bit slower at 40% speed, 30% speed, and finally 20% speed. As you can see, all the tests work very well, indicating that bone is very easy to laser process. Now that I know how the laser performs, I want to see what kind of tolerance is possible by engraving over the curvature of this bone. In this case, I will focus on the halfway point by manually focusing in between the high and the low points with a standard 2 inch lens with the focus tool. Now let's run a simple image onto this cow bone and see how it looks. As you can see, it handles the laser engraving and focus tolerance very well. How about a slightly more complex design? Again, it held the quality beautifully. Now for an even more complex graphic engraved over the entire surface of this buffalo bone. As you can see, the results are outstanding, far better than I imagined when I started this project, producing great contrast and tolerance on these three different examples, and also confirming the results are consistent with varying species of bone. I will now switch to a different product. These are Dakota Deer Antler Slices. Even though the density is slightly different from the hard outside versus the softer inside of the antler slice, the engraving contrast is very similar to the outer bones that I have already run. However, I do see more depth in the engraving. Even trying a more complex graphic also proves to be possible on these antler slices. Next I will try an ox bone scoring and folding tool. These are a product that has been finished unlike the other bones that we have tested so far. This tool is machined and polished smooth, so I am going to attempt an even more detailed engraving. As you can see, it worked very well producing great contrast and great detail across the entire surface of this scoring tool. Now how about some laser engraved buffalo bone guitar picks? Yes, of course, no issue at all producing a great graphic onto the surface just like the other bone samples we've done so far. Here is my final test. I want to engrave an intricate graphic onto this polished camel bone knife with a Damascus steel blade. Just like all the other tests so far, this final test shows that this is not only possible, but a very consistent laser engraving application, producing a stunning, high contrast detail engraving, dramatically increasing the value of this knife. One note with engraving bone was the smell. The smell was bad. It smelled like burning hair or leather. However, I did find that the engraving seemed to become completely odorless by the next day. These tests have determined that a product not typically thought of like natural horns and bone can very effectively be laser processed using CO2 laser technology. If you have something that you would like to see me try and laser, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. We'll see you next time.